Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to a entire face, except for these brows, <laughs> Laura Mercier. And if you like Laura Mercier the way I like Laura Mercier, you're totally saying to yourself, is that skin or is that foundation? Why don't you keep watching and find out? <laughs> so I got out these shadow sticks today to use and because I wanted to be kind of quick. <laughs> So let's film a video. Anyway, then I thought, um, hey, you know what? I haven't done a Laura Mercier video in a long time. And, you know, I've never really got to use this. I bought this at Christmas time and I've never really got to use it. I mean, I swatched it. Well, Laura Mercier sent me this not that long ago. It's their Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer. So I think I'll mix it with one of my favorite foundations. It's from Laura Mercier, and I think I'll mix those two together. But first, let's get primed. This is their super, ooh, look at that. This is an essence and a primer in one. Mm, it just feels good. And that nice looking right there, I got hit in the head with a sweeper, so. <laughs> Don't ask. Actually, I was on the floor p dragging it. Maybe we'll just like push the hair up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's do fun stuff and play mad scientist. You do have to pump out quite a bit if you're me. That is not the Parisian way to do things, <laughs> but that's my way. And then we'll mix in some of this. I don't know when what sequence that this is going to be shown, but they have a new um, tube of blush. It's like tinted moisturizer blush. I'm going to mix these two together. I didn't mean to imply that I had that blush. I'm going to get that blush in the Sephora sale. It's in my cart. So that would that look like? Uh-huh. I'm going to put some here. Oh my gosh, I didn't get a sponge yet. Let's just use this. Of course, I have way more on this brush than I'm probably going to use. That foundation is kind of matte. I think that gives it a pretty nice sheen, doesn't it? Absolutely not doing anything for our friend. <laughs> but that's okay because the thing I would have used today to cover up the friend is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. I'm talking about the one that's in the compact, you know, the thick stuff that stays when you put it on there. Um, I like the stick for travel or other things, but... Yeah. Shy guy's outside this room this way. He's listening to television. My son, he works third shift, but he's off work and he's listening to a podcast and not paying any attention to the fact that I just said I was filming. Washer is going in the other room. You know, life is happening just like it does at your house. Hopefully that makes you feel like you're here and we're like hanging out. This is my third container of their powder that's open. <laughs> I have a regular, it's open, misplaced it, opened another one, a backup, right? Then um, they sent me this one. Look how beautiful that is. It's their 20th anniversary powder. The reason I opened it is because of this huge puff. I like that huge puff. I mean, look, like that's decent, I think. You can have a big puff, but if the opening is only like the regular size, I just like this, okay? So I'm gonna press that into my thighs. I've slowed this down because I want you to see how well this powder does with this velour puff in blurring pores. Yes, I am setting that. I know everybody else does it the opposite way, right? <laughs> Where you, you like actually put on the concealer and then set it. I like there to be powder underneath and then I'll probably do it on top too, but I've always done that. When I was young, I used to take a Q-tip, okay? And I would get foundation on it, go back in after everything and put, you know, foundation on the Q-tip and go back in and put more. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful what that powder can do with a huge puff <laughs> and yet we're still but you know my hair is going to be over that so I don't want to do a whole bunch of color correcting now I'm going to take the caviar powder and I'm going to use that on the side of my face so and there we go just going to bring it on the side of my face on my forehead 
down my nose. See that lit that up in a luminous way, not a glittery way. I challenge you to find glitter on my face. Okay, I still need to deal with this, but I'm gonna deal with that after I put on blush and all that good jazz. I wanna go into this palette here because I thought this might be a bronzer. Not really sure if that is or just a blush, but let's see. It's not picking up very much. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, does it? Oh, okay. Maybe we won't need our bronzer today. We'll just use this. Yeah, it doesn't take much, does it? Hmm. Like I said, I, I bought this at Christmas time and never even got to really use it. Yeah, I think this is actually supposed to be a blush, but it's close enough to a bronzer that I think I can pull this off. And I'll just double blush. So, hmm. You know what? Actually, I want to use this blush in chai because of the lipstick that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to come in here and get some of that. And up here. Up there, up there. Up here, up here, up here, up here. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Scribble, scribble, scribble. <laughs> I love this bronzer that I got from them, but you know, I don't think I really need it, but you know, for the sake of playing in makeup, why not just take a tad? <laughs> I want to use it all. <laughs> Give me it all, darling. I want all the makeup. Okay, so put all the makeup on the face. And now I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier fan brush and just Come get it in this highlight right there. Let's just play in it because we don't have enough highlight on our face. <laughs> I just want to play with all the makeup, okay? <laughs> okay, now then, this is the concealer I'm talking about. I mean, I like this stick, don't get me wrong, but this, I just love this thing here. So I'm gonna, I'm always usually on this side. So I'm just gonna get that loaded up on this brush and I usually take my finger. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of pat this all around the zit. Which, you know, I mean, I coulda, probably shoulda done some color correcting first, but the color corrector that I love, I don't have anymore. And so, yeah. So we're not gonna be doing that because I would have needed to use green on top of this to conceal it and we'll be wearing my wayfarers today because after i get this concealed up the wayfarers kind of go right over the top of it see so you can't see it very well aren't i fortunate and now i'm going to dip this into the powder and just powder right over the top of it all right let's do these sticks now this is just something I really love to do when I'm in a big old hurry, okay? Just get my Laura Mercier caviar sticks out. I know a lot of you do too. And my daughter, I sent her some, and she said, oh my gosh, mom, because, you know, she's a teacher, and getting ready with the kids in the morning is a rushed thing. I remember, you know, so she can get ready really fast. And now I'm going to take plum and come over here anyway my daughter was like oh my gosh mom I mean I love those I just I go I knew you would because any woman who is busy 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 can appreciate and love these sticks so fast so easy because I love these sticks so much and I keep collecting them, um, I've never really tried the shadows. I mean, I had one of her palettes years and years ago. Laura Mercier is like known for these sticks. So when I think eyeshadow and Laura Mercier, that's what I think of. I never think of powder. I need to get one. I need to pick one up and see what I think of that. I'm sure it's like any other luxury eyeshadow palette that is based in French philosophy of makeup and it's, you know, 
kind of barely there just enhance your beauty not take it over <laughs> it's one of my favorite eyeliners it's from la mercier and it is gray i think yeah slate okay so we're going to use slate right there through my lashes i mean it's living right here like in my lashes more than it is the waterline One of my favorite mascaras is the Caviar Volume. And it does have a big old wand on it, so you have to be careful of that. But it gives a beautiful lash. Yay for me. But you know what to do, right? Just let it sit there and dry, and then we can remove it with a Q-tip afterwards. And it'll just come right off there. But yeah, isn't that cute? I'll do my brows after I do my mouth because it is not Laura Mercier. I still haven't found a Laura Mercier brow product that I love, so we're gonna move on to the mouth. I love this lip liner and this lipstick together. These are wonderful. I believe this was sent to me, but this I bought. This is mauve, I think. I mean, it's the color mauve. I'm gonna show you guys a, a trick that I just learned. I'm not sure, I saw it on Instagram, maybe on Huda. Okay, so like, we'll use this in a minute, but just put this like this, okay, and then line. And it keeps you from going too far in. See how I hit that? I don't know about you, but I try to stay out of the corners of my mouth. It's too easy at my age, which is 60. It's too easy at my age to get in those corners and make your mouth look like it's being drugged down. So that prevents you from coming in too far. And then I love this lipstick. Mm. This isn't just my favorite Laura Mercier lipstick. This is one of my favorite lipsticks, period. And now let's roll that off there. I might have to touch that up just a little bit. Fortunately, I do have a little bit of the foundation left, so I'm gonna just run it right there with my finger. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll be back. Laura Mercier's Lip Glace does kind of smell like a sweet cake batter. And it's got those sparkles in it. And there we go. That's my Laura Mercier look. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I always love getting out my makeup and just playing. And yeah, I want to let you know that if you don't know, you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, the way you get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye. And I'm out. Say hello to my little friend. Hi, how are you? Oh boy, how are you? When you just die. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh. Oh, there's a hair on me somewhere. It's like a whisker. Like cat whiskers. <laughs> no, cats don't go. <laughs> la, 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 it's not Christmas. Yeah. Uh, uh, have a blue Christmas in March. <laughs> Look at my indents now. Oh my gosh. It's like over the shoulder boulder holder. Boom, boom, boom. Boulders to the rescue. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. There goes your stupid bra again. Look at that. Indents like, oh my gosh, we're holding some big cargo here. <laughs>